How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about SNDL Sundown Growers. Yes, we ended up having a pullback in the market today, but I was telling everyone in my previous video to be prepared for that. You can see there's a big time gap that needs to be filled. I got a lot of hate about this. People were talking about it inside of the comments saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you believe in the long term prospects, you want to exercise some patience. I won't waste any more time. Let's just jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder or you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know those key levels so we're prepared in a bearish case scenario and as well as in a bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because a short interest does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know what was the buying and as well as the selling behavior like on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done, we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details. So let's get to it. So we're going to do a technical analysis for SNDL Sundial Growers. Let's see how it performed on the day. So it ended up closing at 83 cents being down 9.77 percent on the low it tested 83 cents and then on the high testing 94 dollars and 93 cents when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 357.384 million shares and for the average volume over 10 trading days being at 220 12.504 million shares. So what we see, we had above average volume on the day, but we did deal with a good amount of selling pressure. Now, when we take a look at our chart, which is the daily chart, you can see from the RSI down below, it is right around 63.6. Nine. So, of course, it was as high right over here being right around 77.04 in that overbought territory. So we can see it's cooling off a bit. So when we take a look at our chart in regards to the moving averages, we have strength above the 50 day, the 21 day EMA, as well as the 100 day. But we are below the 200 day. So like I was talking about in the previous video, there's a big time gap from what we have here that comes right around here around 73 cents going all the way over here to around 80 cents. So this is why I said, if you believe in the long-term prospects of SNDL, you want to be patient when it comes to your entry. Cause like I said, in a lot of my videos, gaps tend to get filled. So once this gap gets filled in, then of course you can look forward to being bullish on SNDL. So as far as the selling pressure that we got today and testing around 83 cents on the low, and actually that's where we close, it looks fairly bearish right now. And it looks like it's going in a downward trend. If you're looking for a bullish reversal now, of course, you're gonna wanna see it get past this resistance here right at 90 cents. If we have some momentum above 90, of course, the next resistance level would be right here around 95 cents. So we're gonna take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for SNDL. So scrolling down on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So we're gonna concentrate on the date of November the 15th filings. So the first one we have here, we have a closed position. But as far as for new positions, we have Old Dell Group LLC that purchased 3,235 shares. And we have Parallax Volatility Advisors that purchased 2,200 shares along with some calls. Going down further, you can see we have more closed positions coming from six institutions slash funds. And as we go down further, you can see for November the 15th, Nomara Holdings Inc. that went in with the call. And then we also have Gerber Kawasaki Wealth and Investment investment management that went in with 37 shares like really they had to file that as we go down even more we have some more closed positions we have a call here they probably closed some positions here at Nomera and when we take a look at State Street Corp they purchased just over 2.1 million shares so that is a sizable position right there if we go down even more that's about it now when we take a look at the short interest information the dark pool short volume ratio is at 31.90 percent and then for the dark pool short volume 
Bitcoin being just over 174 million shares. That, yeah, that's crazy. Now, when we take a look at the short shares availability, it is at 2.4 million, updated one minute ago. And then for the short ball free rate, it is at 10.37%. Scrolling down further, you can see as far as for the history of the short volume, for the close of last week, Thursday, it was at 28.42. And then for the close for the Friday that just passed, it was at 31.90. So it will be very interesting to see what the numbers will be when it comes down later on in the evening. But one thing I won't be surprised about if the short volume actually increases. So this is why you see a lot of volatility in SNDL and why you have to have a strategy before jumping into this play. So now let's jump into the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for SNDL. So we can see here on the inflow, it was at 81 0.10 and then on the outflow it was 85.79 so we ended up having an outflow day taking a look at the breakdown it was zero on the large for both on the medium we had 53.34 and then on the small we had 27.76 and keep in mind these numbers are in the millions when we take a look at the outflow side on the medium it was 57.25 and then on the small it was 28.54 when we take a look at the large-scale orders in the last Last five days you could see for today November the 15th it was zero now taking a look at the breakdown even further you could see as far as for the retail side we had more selling than we had buying and then when we take a look at what happened on the medium side we had more selling than we had buying but there was still demand in regards to purchasing shares when we take a look now at the turnover ratio it was at 17.46 percent so this is fairly high but also it's not too shocking for a stock like SNDL. But one thing that is clear, there are many who are continuing to hold on to their shares. But again, there's a lot of liquidity tells us there's a lot of traders and so on. So now let's jump into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for SNDL Sundial Growers, the volatility we saw inside the market today, of course, was not surprising. If you've been in this play long enough or you've been watching my channel long enough and watching those SNDL videos, this is something that you had to be prepared for. And this this is why I emphasized it in my previous video. If you believe in the long-term prospects, you do not need to be buying SNDL when it's in the 90 cent range or even in the 80 cent range. We already know as far as for the downtrend is concerned, there's a big time gap that needs to be filled, which goes all the way down to 73 cents. So if SNDL comes down to 73 cents and so forth, then I'm going to be looking forward to seeing some consolidation. And then we can look forward to seeing a move up, especially if we get more updates coming in to the cannabis sector and you guys know what I'm talking about we want to see it being legalized on the federal level in the United States because we know the term rising tides flow all boats and SNDL has proven to move in sympathy whenever we have big time news updates coming from the United States in regards to cannabis we also do know they have come a long way way we saw on their most recent earnings report things were looking really good so this is why i said let it fill in that gap let it consolidate and we can look forward to seeing a strong move to the upside and i think that will be the most healthy thing for this overall stock whenever we have stocks making strong spikes in a short period of time a pullback is going to happen you don't want to just buy into this blindly don't listen to those people out there especially on social media saying well you know what just buy it at any price buy and hold and so on buy it at 90 cents buy it at a dollar no make sure you have the right entry because at the end of the day it is your money and you want to make sure you're using it wisely or i should say you should be investing it wisely inside of the stock market so i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon <music>